This is by far the most complicated and hardest experiment that we've ever attempted. Last year we made a video called throwing a foam glider off of a hang glider and I got almost a million views. And the year before that we made a video called throwing a foam glider off the tallest point in the Santa Monica Mountains and that video got over a million views. So we wanted to come up with a concept that would one up those videos. So for today's experiment we're teaming up with Novartis to try a foam glider stunt that's never been done before. We're gonna see if we can take a foam glider up on a drone, calculate where it will land, and catch the glider before it ever touches the ground. This is very dude perfecty. Novartis is working with some really cool technologies that could help improve people's lives. And we're gonna show you exactly how they're doing that later in this video. Now in order to make this whole experiment work, we had to do quite a bit of testing. We first had to figure out how to get the glider to a thousand feet in the air. We calculated the weight of the glider versus the maximum lifting potential of several drones and went with the quadcopter that could easily and repeatedly lift a foam glider with an action cam taped to it. We then needed a dropping device and after many conversations with many different engineers, we decided to go with the simplest device possible due to Murphy's Law, which is that if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. Goodbye. Oh no! Our device is basically a battery powered latch that opens on command with the press of a button. From here we attach some fishing line to the glider nose in order to avoid as much thrashing as possible created from the turbulence downstream from the drone's propellers. Once our glider is at a thousand feet, we hit our remote controlled release button and let her rip. Uh, the first step is just letting the glider go from a thousand feet to capture some data where it'll land. In three, two, one, release. That barn is directly in front of us. Yeah, it's like basically right there. One smoother path, except for this one. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think my car is now unoperational. She's been found. Oh wow, that was one heck of a flight. I'm probably just gonna post just that flight alone. Whoa. So here's how this is gonna work. We've calculated that our glide ratio is one to one. Meaning if we take our foam glider up five feet, it'll travel a lateral distance of five feet before it touches the ground. And of course, this is with no wind. Now because this doesn't account for wind or any other real life changing conditions, I'll be tracking my every move with my smartwatch. With the information that I get off of the smartwatch, I'll be able to hone in on the best place to be in order to catch the foam glider before it ever touches ground. We are now out at the soggy bottom dry lake bed. That's the real name. And we'll be assisted by this ATV, this uh, all-terrain vehicle. And the SUV is serving the purpose of getting us out where the glider will land quicker. So we'll just zoom out there as fast as possible, make some minor adjustments if we need to, and jump out of the vehicle once it's come to a stop and catch the foam glider. Drop it. Released. You're just gonna go turbo speed. Yep, take this. A bit further into the desert, it's gonna keep banking right. That was really close. 
All right, so we've tried a couple times here, and I'm not gonna lie, this is really hard to do. It's really hard to catch the glider out of thin air. And because we don't have a GPS device on the glider itself, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some data off my smartwatch that's been on me this entire time. I'm gonna plug it into a computer program, and then we're gonna map those data points so we can better figure out where to catch the glider based off of where it has been landing. So if I just lay a couple of these images over, it looks like the corner of the salt flat is an area where it keeps landing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, release the glider and then we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna drive out as fast as we can to that area to give us a better percent chance of catching the glider. Now before we go up to a thousand feet again with this new information for the most epic catch ever, I wanna tell you how Novartis scientists are using these same types of methods in an effort to make people's lives better. Novartis scientists obviously aren't coming up with methods to catch foam gliders, but what they are doing is using sensor technology to better understand how patients are dealing with their medical issues in real life. Because making new medicines takes a lot of time and effort, the more Novartis can understand if a medicine they're testing is actually helping, the better. Right now, doctors only see patients during visits, which gives them limited information on how their patients are really doing. However, by using information in sensors and devices such as smartphones or smart watches, the doctors can now use this wealth of information to get a better picture of how things are going in their patient's everyday life. This is actually incredibly similar to the method that we're using in order to catch this glider from a thousand feet. The weather is always changing and the glide ratio isn't exactly an accurate diagnosis for real life conditions. With the help of the smartwatch that's been on me this entire time, we now have a better understanding of where the glider will actually land. All right, yep, go ahead and do it. And I'm gonna jump out right at the edge. Released from a thousand feet, caught before it hit the ground. On, I didn't actually. Griffin did. Unbelievable. It was a team effort. All right. There we go. We performed the first ever foam glider catch from a thousand feet, and we did it through information that I extracted from my smartwatch. This is a very similar method to how Novartis scientists are already working to help improve people's lives through the use of sensor technology that we already carry with us. I wanna say thank you again to Novartis for making this video possible. There's a link in the description below to how this new method could help make people's lives better. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section. Let me know, did you know that it was even possible to catch a foam glider from a thousand feet? Also, did you know that you could use sensor technology in order to better predict where the glider would land? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon. So close!